What's up guys, this is Sony back with another video and today real quick I'm making this video because you guys asked me to make this video. You guys wanted to see the difference, the performance difference between Intel Hackintosh versus my AMD's Ryzen Tosh. Now both of the system running Mac OS Mojave 10.14.1, no I didn't update uh, to the latest version because the system running stable right now. But today real quick I'm going to compare the AMD's Ryzen Tosh and Intel Hackintosh. Intel i5-9500F doesn't come with Intel UHD 630 built-in graphics. Now that's why we do have the advantage over Intel i5-9400F because Intel i5-9400F can take advantage of the Intel QuickSync. So we can compare the CPU right now with our Ryzen 5 2600 6 core 12 thread and maybe, maybe, just maybe you can kick uh, i5 9400F kick ass. I be, uh, can I use the kick ass word? Uh, I don't know if I can. So both of the CPU price is kind of exactly same. You can pick up an Intel i5 9400F CPU for $149 from Newegg, I believe. And also you can pick up an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU uh, from Newegg, I believe $149. The big difference between both of the CPU, the Ryzen 5 2600 does come with 6 core, 12 thread. So you do have a hyper threading. Uh, great for gaming, great for streaming, and also for rendering. Now, on the other hand, Intel i5 uh, 9400F doesn't come with hyper threading. So you got 6 core and you stuck with 6 core. And I don't recommend i5 9400F for like, you know, streaming. Don't, don't buy the CPU and plan on streaming with that. Now, let's just jump in and let me give you guys quick system spec. And then after that, I'll show you guys the graph. All right, so the AMD Ryzen Tosh, basically I'm running uh, Asus ROG Strix B450-F AM4 motherboard. Now that's like one of my favorite go-to motherboard. Now I'm keeping this motherboard so I can update the motherboard BIOS and maybe test uh, upcoming Ryzen 3000 series CPU. Uh, most likely I will order uh, Ryzen 5 3600 because that's like $199 6 core CPU and I want to see the difference performance difference between my Ryzen 2600 so that's the reason. Uh, also the cooler I have uh, Be Quiet Dark Rock Slim uh, it's a pretty good cooler. I managed to overclock the CPU to 4 gigahertz. The reason I overclock the Ryzen CPU so uh, the Intel i5 uh, 9400 does boost up to uh, I believe like 4 gigahertz so I just want to uh, you know keep uh, the comparison like fair you know what I mean so hopefully you guys are not mad because I overclocked the Ryzen CPU and I didn't I can overclock the i5 9400F I just can't until god you know I can well, Never mind, guys. Uh, both of the system running same amount of RAM. Uh, HyperX, uh, Fury, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. I believe these are uh, 2666. I managed to overclock the RAMs to 2933. Also, I'm running an M.2. It's an inline M.2 from Micro Center, 120 gig. I will use the same M.2 in my Intel build also. Now, the graphics card I'm using, uh, same graphics card I will be using in the Intel uh, build also. Uh, RX Vega 56 graphics card. So overall guys, basically everything will be same except the motherboard and the CPU. So let's just jump into the Intel builds. So on the Intel build, I'm running uh, the motherboard Asus ROG. Uh, it's a Z370-H motherboard. The exact model will be in the video description. The CPU I'm running, i5. Uh, 9400 uh, F CPU again that's the 6 core CPU and without Intel built-in UHD graphics the RAM I'm using the same RAM uh, HyperX Fury uh, these are also 16 gig and uh, 2666 for some reason I couldn't overclock the RAM with my Intel build I don't know this motherboard didn't let me uh, and the graphics card I'm using the same graphics card I'm using the uh, RX Vega 56 graphics card and also the same M.2 SSD so there is no difference so let's not waste any more time and let's just jump in and show you guys the performance difference uh, between the uh, i5 9400F and the Ryzen 5 2600 Alright guys, so first thing first, I couldn't test DaVinci Resolve, so hope you guys are not mad because I wanted to test DaVinci Resolve and compare DaVinci Resolve result with Final Cut Pro, but 
both of my Hackintosh, the Ryzen Torch, the AMD Ryzen Torch and the Intel Hackintosh, I had to install like Mac OS Mojave because I wanted to start fresh, well, you know, before testing. And when I install Final Cut was perfectly fine because that's like the trial version. But when I tried to install DaVinci Resolve, it was giving me some problem from their website, maybe because I tried to install too many times. Now I'll do, I will make a follow up video for you guys. So I hope you guys are not mad and give this video a thumbs up. So you guys can see I managed to test uh, Final Cut Pro. I had a 1080p 30fps video. It's a five minute video, uh, H.264. So you guys can see video export time. And then we are comparing here AMD Ryzen Tosh versus Intel Hackintosh. So first I tested with my AMD Ryzen 5 2600, my Ryzen Tosh. I was running Mac OS Mojave 10.14.1. And you guys can see six core CPU, 12 threads with RX Vega 56 graphics took four minute and 41 seconds. Now if you compare this with Intel Core i5 9400 CPU Hackintosh, it's a six core CPU without hyper threading, without Intel UHD 630 graphics. So we cannot take advantage of Intel QuickSync, but we do have AMD RX Vega 56. So the total render time was five minutes and 19 seconds. So if we compare a uh, raw power for both of the CPU, I, uh, i5 9400 versus Ryzen 5 2600, then Ryzen 5 2600 easily beat out i5 9400 F CPU. Now you have to remember, I did overclock Ryzen 5 uh, 2600 to four gigahertz because I wanted to uh, basically match the boost, uh, turbo boost of i5 9400 F so I can keep everything fair. Now if you compare now uh, both of the result to Intel Core i5 80, 8400 CPU Hackintosh. Now again, i584 does come with six core, no hyper threading, just like i5 9400F, but it does have Intel UHD 630 graphics. So now we can take advantage of Intel QuickSync and also we can take advantage of AMD RX Vega 56. So we can take advantage of both of the compute power and you guys can see render time was two minutes and 10 seconds. So guys, you guys can see the Intel QuickSync does make huge performance difference if you're going to use uh, iMovie or Final Cut Pro. All right guys, this should be it. If you guys have any question, please don't forget to leave in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys and see you guys next one.